everyone in this short video I am going to teach you how you can apply cointegration test as we already know the purpose of cointegration that whenever we have to check the long-term relationship between variables or whenever we have to uh, see the correlation between series that whether they are integrated with each other or not we apply cointegration test so let's see how we can apply cointegration analysis in eViews. So I am going to use this data file. As you can see the work file. Here there are multiple variables in my model. So GDP is my dependent variable. FDI imports and remittances. They are independent variables. So in order to apply cointegration test, I have to first select all the variable and then I'm going to apply cointegration. So the selecting criteria is that you have to first select the folder of dependent variable and then followed by other independent variables. Now after selecting the variables, after selecting uh, respective variables, right click open as group now the you can see the spreadsheet go to view cointegration test Johansson system cointegration now in this uh, window as you can see on your screen there are multiple assumptions right at this stage we don't know that which assumption to choose so what we do, we will rely on some criteria, Schwartz criteria and archaic information criteria. Based on that, whatever uh, these criteria, whatever they suggest, we will choose uh, that particular assumption or the lag interval, right? So here I'm going to choose uh, different assumption and the, the respective lag interval. So first of all, what I have to do, I have to check the sixth option, which is summarize all five sets of assumptions. So check this option, the last one and press OK. Now you can see at the bottom, uh, there are two criterias, which I already, which I just mentioned, archaic information criteria and Schwartz. Now, suppose I'm using archaic information criteria, you can use any of any uh, one of them. So I am using a Kaig information criteria. Um, these columns here, columns are representing assumptions and rows are representing lag intervals, right? So let's see where is the steric. Um, you can see the steric here in the fifth column and this is the third row where the lag interval is two. Right, so according to archaic information criteria, I have to select fifth assumption and the lag interval should be two. So again, go to view, cointegration test, Johansson system cointegration. Now according to archaic, I'm following the uh, archaic information criteria and now I'm going to check fifth option and I'm going to write lag interval two. Now press OK. This is the cointegration result. So before I report the result, let's see what is the uh, null hypothesis of cointegration test. For interpretation, we will use null hypothesis, and the hypothesis is that there is no cointegration. It means no long run relationship between variables. We know the rule of thumb that if the probability value is 5%, reject null hypothesis if it is uh, if it is lesser than or equal to five percent then we reject null hypothesis and vice versa right so let's see what is the output what the result is suggesting so here in the output you can see there are two different tables so you have to report uh, you have to report both of the table trace and maximum eigenvalue so there are two methods one is the probability method based on probability values you can conclude uh, the result and based on these two columns trace statistics and critical value and here 
maximum eigen statistics and critical value based uh, after comparing these two values you can also conclude the result right so here first of all i am using probability uh, value so out of four as you can see there are four uh, probability values out of four if uh, one if only one probability is suggesting that um, if only one probability is lesser than five percent or equal to five percent then we will reject null hypothesis so here in this case we have two probabilities uh, those uh, uh, they are suggesting that there is co-integration between variables secondly by just using by just comparing the value of trace statistics and critical value i can also uh, conclude the results so if the trace statistics value is greater than critical value it means we have to reject the null hypothesis right so they both are suggesting the same thing that we have to reject null hypothesis and we have to conclude that there is a co there is co-integration between variables so if we can see if we can uh, analyze the second table which is of maximum eigenvalue here only one value is suggesting that uh, null hypothesis should be rejected because only one value uh, is lesser than 5%. And again, you can see maximum eigen statistics and critical value. After comparing the values, I can conclude uh, like at most one value is only this value is suggesting that null hypothesis should be rejected. So based on these results, I can interpret the output of cointegration. Thank you.